Hey guys, just want to do another quick video on this rear end setup. Um, as you can see, everything is bolted on now. Uh, you can buy what I do, you can buy these collars on eBay for like 10 bucks. And they're just locking collars, these are three quarter inch. And they slide right on over the hub. And this is what I do is, this has got a keyway Hold the axle still. There's a keyway in there. And that's going to hold this tire locked to the axle. You can go on eBay and you can buy this set. It's not like eBay. And you get a crap load of uh, key stock assortment for oh, 14 bucks, something like that. And you just shove it in there, put this on there, and it'll lock it all together. On the inside, I have one here. That keeps the wheel all lined. And these bearings have set screws in them also. So this will hold your axle from flying all over the place. This will hold your wheel from going all over the place and lock it in as posi traction. So when you do these, this spins nice and straight. Now, I don't have a big machine shop. I got a piece of crap drill press. But what I did was I took the stock gear, and it's got the little cogs in it. And by using this grindstone and this little guy, this did most of the work. This did the little fine tuning just to make it get it to get it on there good. And what you do when you do that is you get your gear, and I think I got another in this box of shit here. Okay, here we go. Hard to get to put on yet. So this is what it looks like. And you have to get those bumps out of there to make it fit into there obviously you see there's quite a difference but once you do that and you set it on the axle here's a chunk I cut off you slide you slide one of these on the axle like this well, I really need a freaking camera man this one man show kind of sucks so you slide one on you slide your sprocket on and then you slide another one on so you're pancaking them together, like that. And then you use vice grips. Use vice grips to, to sandwich it all in there tight. So when I did this, I had another one on the other side, and that holds it all straight to the axle, and then you vice grip on here and on the other side and pinch it in, a couple of them. Get a few tack welds on there. I mean, yeah, I'm not a professional welder, but what the hell, it'll work. Didn't want to risk getting it here and plugging that keyway up. Because I want this to be able to be removed. If I bend the axle, I can buy another axle, 40 bucks, chop the size, slide it on, boom, done. I ain't got to dick around nothing. All this stuff slides right off. Wicked easy. So, I did a lot of measuring and figuring. I want these wheels to stick out a little bit more. So I set the cover on. Like this. I'll just set it on. Okay, there we go. I want the wheels sticking out. And I tried to make it pretty much even on both sides and that's going to give you a little bit wider stance in the back when I get hauling ass down the road now this is just sitting on the tires but once once I get the framework in there I'll be lifting it up like probably that much but that little bit wider coming out is going to give you a lot more stability from flipping this freaking thing over going however fast I'm going to go I'll GPS it with my phone once I get going but so this is basically it so this this not going to slide wherever it decides to uh, fall on the chain somewhere. I gotta put another one in here. I gotta get another one like I did in my last video. I got another brake disc. That's gonna go on for my rear brakes. And I got my caliper. And I got my little handbrake. It's all eBay. Stuff I bought from eBay. Um, these are gonna be my cable extenders. If I can extend my cables out, I can put a couple of them together with the, the lock and nuts. So I've already planned way ahead to do this. This is just a bicycle disc brake, nothing to it. I'll just cut out a round disc, like it last time. I'll lay this in the round disc, I'll shoot spray paint down on it, it'll mark all my holes, boom, done. And then weld it, weld it to uh, one of them. So this is where I'm at now. I was gonna call it a day, but I got thinking inside, and it's like, yeah, I'm going back out. But I think this will be my second video of the day. I just want to show you how this axle sets up. In case you ever want to do this yourself, 
I did leave a little play in here so I, I can slide these back and forth if I have to. And they use some pretty big ass bolts in there. Man, I came really close to that one. But that's what you do when you just got scrap laying around, you're going to use it. Okay, that's it for now.